Aloha folks, welcome to another video. My name is Mark, Mr. Dividend Investor. In this video, we are going to talk about three dividend stocks that I bought this week. So hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, just wanted to say aloha, welcome. And if those of you that are new to investing and you want to learn about which companies are great to invest on, dividends, growth stocks, or even penny stocks, you've come to the right channel. Hit that, uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell uh, so you don't miss out on videos that I put out. As always, please remember this is not financial advice. This is just me sharing. With all that said, let's take a look at these three stocks that I bought this week or have been buying this week. First on the list, ExxonMobil. The ticker symbol is XOM. Um, very popular company if you like dividends. This is a company that engages in distribution of oil, gas, and petroleum products, as you can see from the website. So, uh, pretty much a very popular company to invest on. Uh, at the time of this video, it's at $62. Now, if you look at tip ranks, Based on tip ranks, their price target is at 67 with 9% upside. The 12 month forecast rated as a high of 90, the average of 67 and a low of 55. So you can see from the bottom as well. Uh, their analysis rating based on 13 analysis is a moderate buy with seven buys, five holds and one sell. Now if we look at um, Simply Safe Dividend, based on their rating, they, did, they rated uh, this Exxon as borderline safe, score of 55. Now, the dividend yield is 5.60. Market cap is about two, 263 billion. Now, if we look down to the key metrics, you can see payout ratio they've lost over the past year. Um, but if you look down to the dividend growth, five last five years, 4%, which is slow. Last 20 years, 7% per year, which is average. Now, if we look down to the streak, you can see 38 years of dividend growth streak, uh, uninterrupted dividend streaks of 38 years without a deduction. So, um, a lot of company, a lot of investors that like ExxonMobil, uh, this is one of the reasons why, yeah, because of the, the dividends. Now, if you are interested in the payment schedule you're going to get paid by quarterly the months are march july september and december with the annual payout of three dollars and 48 cents uh x dividend is on may 12 and then you get your payout date of june 10. now if we look at yahoo finance to check out the top institutional holdings you can see vanguard group on march 30 bought about 349 million you got BlackRock bought about 282 million and State Street Corporation bought about 247 on March 30. You can see a little bit more uh, other companies that have bought. Now, if we look at bar chart, you can see based on bar chart, their price target is in the high of 90, the medium 59, and the low of 45. Their rating currently is based on 16 analysis, they rated as a moderate buy. Uh, two months ago, it's pretty much the same, and a month ago, it's the same. Now, looking at the breakdown, you can see currently we have six strong buys and 10 holds. So, pretty much the same last month. Two months was a little bit different. There were some, some sales. And then three months ago, there was uh, almost pretty much the same with some two sales and one moderate. So, uh, now if we look at Robinhood, you can see... Um, uh, on the day, it was uh, down negative uh, 0 0.9. For the week, it was up 1%. And then for the one month, it's up 2%. Three months, it's up uh, 1%. And then one year, it's up 29%. So, um, you know, I'm starting to increase my position for this one. Currently, I have 15 shares uh, with the uh, total return of 6%. So, um, I'm my goal for this one is to probably reach 100, maybe 200 
Um, so got a long way still to go, but you know, uh, I want to do uh, average, uh, you know, average in. So buy some shares here, buy some shares here. Uh, wait, I usually wait for some sort of a dip, uh, you know, around this area. So I, I bought a couple like here and then here. So now let's take a look at the next one. Next on the list, Main Street Capital. This is a company that focuses on uh, providing cus uh, customized debts and equity finance solutions for companies. You can see, I like this company because it is a monthly dividend company, which is for me, awesome. Now, if you look at tip ranks at the time of this video, it is 41%, uh, $41 with the price, uh, target of 43 with a 4% upside. The 12 month forecast rated is a high of 44, the average of 43 and the low of 43. Uh, based on their analysis, they rated two ratings and two buys. Now, if we look down to CNN Business, you can see their 12 month forecast is pretty similar with 44, 44. the median is 43 and the low is 40. And their analysis is kind of like a uh, spread out with three, one buy, one outperform, one hold. Now, uh, simply safe dividend, their dividend uh, safety rated as a safe with on a 62. Dividend yield is about 5.87. The market cap is 2.86. Looking down to the key metrics, you can see payout ratio is a little bit high, 117. Uh, 17 percent with the dividend streak of 18 years uh, 13 years without a reduction so if we look down to the dividend growth you can see the last 10 years it was five percent last five years it was three percent and then the full year you know that was pretty stuff because of the closures it's it's two percent yeah very slow now uh dividend uninterrupted dividend streak 13 years without a reduction uh 10 years of consecutive increases. Now your payout schedule, this is the reason why I like it. You pay, you get paid monthly for this one with the annual payout of $2.46. Uh, now looking at Webull, you can see based on Webull, it's based on three. It is a buy with 60% and a hold of 33%. You can see the price target is at 44 with, in the high, 39 with the average, and then 30th with the low. Now, um, looking at Robinhood, you can see um, my position. So currently I have 20 shares. I did have about 40 shares in this portfolio way back. Sold some of that to buy other companies. Now I'm coming back in to start getting back my position. So you can see total returns about 8%. So my target with this one, is probably close to like 200 to maybe 500 shares um, with this one maybe even more to maybe a thousand so but then again consistently putting some um, and then having this eventually um, bring me back some money because of dividends you can see right here so um, based on this one I will get a dividend of four dollars on June 15 um, and it's going to go back to, I used drip, so it's going to go back to buying fractional shares on this one. Uh, last on the list, we got Capital Southwest. The ticker symbol is CSWC. Um, this is a business development company specialized in credit and private equity and venture capital investments. Now, if we look at some of the highlights, Financial highlights from 4 to 4, 2021. You can see all these things. So they, they pay 42 per share in dividends. Investment portfolio uh, increased from 688 to 648. You can see a little bit more on, um, you know, their presentation. So, um, you know, now if we look at tip ranks at the time of this video, it's at 27 with a price target of 27. Uh, if you look at the high, it's at 29. The average is 27. In the low 25, 
with uh, analysis rated as a strong buy, three buys, and one hold. Now, if you look at CNN, uh, CNN Business, their forecast rated it in 29, the medium is 27, <clears throat> and the low is 25. Now, their rating is four buys, one outperform, and one hold. Now, if we look at Simply Safe Dividend, uh, they rate this company as borderline safe with a score of 50. Dividend yield is 6.80. Market cap is 581. Looking down to the key metrics, you can see five years without a reduction. They did cut their dividend during the 0709. Now, if we look down to the dividend growth, you can see the last 20 years, it was 13%, uh, which is very fast. The last five years, which is 64%, which is very fast. Now, you know, these are the stuff of so five years without a reduction, five consecutive years of increasing. Your payout payment schedule is quarterly, March, June, September, and December, with the annual payout of $1.68. Again, focus on these uh, dates. X dividend date is March 12th, payout date is March 31st. Now, if we look at my position and Robinhood, you can see um, I have about 10. I'm gonna slowly uh, increase this to maybe 100, maybe go as far as 150. Um, my total return is about 21%. So again, got a long way to go, but you know, um, going to start putting more of this as weeks and months go on all right guys that's all the, uh, that's all the the companies I bought uh, dividend companies that I bought this week hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up again please remember to do your own due diligence and do your own research again th these are not financial advice Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, stay cool, keep investing, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, right? Take care. Aloha.